So hardscaping refers to, you know, driveways, sidewalks, stairways, things that we put in place to make our buildings accessible to people in automobiles. And um, for us, for the idea of site design in this discussion, I want you to think about hardscaping as an opportunity to think about permeability of these materials to help us manage water and increase the uh, general landscape environment, the exterior environment of our buildings. So here's that basic idea of, of the issue of creating hardscaping. So we go from what would be a natural um, environment where we have very little runoff, um, good infiltration, you know, 50% of the water going into the soil, adding to the aquifer, the natural water um, that's available for us when we dig wells for drinking water. And um, this idea of, of transpiration, the movement of moisture into the air, um, which is a, can have a positive effect for cooling air. And then we start to um, disrupt that with our build forms, creating less and less per permeable surfaces, less water getting into the soil, more runoff. The runoff is the biggest concern because that can, can um, uh, create problems in polluting our natural waterways and removing soil, um, arable soil that we can use for agriculture. So runoff that drives soil into the watershed is generally considered a very negative um, uh, negative condition. And you can see how we change that infiltration in the most urban areas. Um, we have the most amount of runoff, the least amount of water contributing to our aquif uh, aquifer, and we have even the idea of also low transpiration. So there's very little moisture available to cool air in a natural way. So the, the idea of these imper impermeable hardscape surfaces should be a big concern of us to us to um, to help us uh, play nice with Mother Nature and our interventions. So there's ideas of modifying hardscaping so that both it can be firm enough for to support the weight of vehicles and yet uh, permeable enough to absorb groundwater. And so here we have a parking lot that's a porous paver surface, um, but we can do um, overflow parking areas that have um, hardscaping materials that are still porous, geotechnical fabrics, um, that can allow us to both have walkable, drivable surfaces that still have great permeability to them. And that can extend and should extend into the really specific environment of the home or the business in the areas that surround it or the commercial building. So here we have some um, um, ideas of landscaping where we are mixing hard walkable surfaces with many um, permeable surfaces that are actually vegetated. So we can have, with a little thought, many plus plus uh, benefits to it. I'm going to introduce another term, this idea of bioswales. Um, um, the idea of being able to accumulate water from paved surfaces into these retention things. This has been previously mentioned. Um, but uh, it's a way of managing the runoff, holding on to it, allowing it to be vegetated and planted, allowing it to be permeable to uh, absorb water. And um, where we play that out in, in our build form is when we start to design parking lots, we don't see just the idea of putting down pavement, but we see the idea that every time we do, we have to manage the water from it. And the, um, the enhancement of the area with the water management creates a, an enhanced environment for the, um, the people who experience our architecture. So here we have um, a tight urban setting, a parking lot, um, but many interventions here to increase the quality of um, this, uh, what could be a, a really um, sad uh, urban setting. So here we have um, the bioswale, mm -hmm. Uh, to retain water runoff. You can see we have a way of getting across it, like a bridge. It creates a, a really nice interactive um, experience between parking and accessing the rest of the, the urban environment. It looks like they've created a vegetated wall or a sound barrier. It may just be also the preservation of an existing building that was here that, had, um, that was not going to be renovated. Um, it could just could be an opportunity to create a green wall um, to mask the automobiles from the uh, walkable urban streetscape. So these these should make strong prints uh, in your uh, design imagination for um, when you create a parking lot. Um, it is not just an attachment to a building, 
but is part of an integrated solution to your site design.